Hi, welcome to the first show in a brand new series of the Million Miles from the World Comeback Tour. Back again, we have decided to go for all those letters that have been written to us across the globe. And we have a show today that you've all been looking forward to. The Super Seek Special. Then we decided to talk to two different Sikhs and how the Guru Granny Sahib affects their everyday life. Our first guest of the new series is Mr. Harpreet Vendesha. Come on, Harpreet. <laughs> <laughs> what? 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 Where, where is he? Uh, oh, well. Hi, Harpreet, and welcome to the Mini Marston Show. Thank you, dearly beloved Mr. Marston. Tell us about the Guru Ganesh Shaheed. And what, what is it? Why is it so important? Ganesh is a group of holy scriptures of great importance in the Sikh religion. They are written in a special type of script called Guru Mahi, and the words contained within, within the beautiful book are called Guru Bani, and are written in poetry as hymns, so they can be read out easily at religion, religious festivals and gatherings. Where did these scriptures come from and where are they read out? These scriptures are, are teachings of Guru Nanak. They teach Sikhs how to live a good holy life and if followed will bring internal, internal happiness and joy. However, they also have a words of other Gurus as well as Muslim and Hindu holy men. As I said before, they are read out at all religious occasions, but mostly they are read out at the Guruwar, which is a gathering of seats of, to listen to the words of the Guru Granthi Sahib. They are Thank you, Hartley, but the audience are getting bored of your voice. Wait now, but keep the smile and don't touch the dial because after the break we'll be speaking to Hartley's stepbrother Joshi. Be right back. Right. Pizza Hut Pizza. Even Millie Marlton enjoys it. Welcome back to the Millie Marlton Show. If you've just joined us, you're late. Now welcome Hartley then this is step brother, Joshy Shashri. <laughs> For legal reasons, Joshy's face has been blurred. Welcome to the show, Joshy. Cheers. Tell us about the gatherings which take place in uh, in the good wars. The good wars. Good wars. Oh, you must mean that waste of time where a whole lot of beards gather in a building and read a... When I read a... I'm getting very annoyed. They read a lot of... from a giant book. They're pointless and boring. Did you know they have a special bedroom and resting place for the scriptures? Did you know they wave an object called a uh, cherry or something? It's a chaura, you fool! It's a sign of respect, and we also adopt the book to protect it. Well, well that's pathetic. And how do you feel about this, Joshy? I think it's pathetic. So you don't agree with it? No, it's pathetic. So you disagree with it? Yes. You are a sick child. You are disgraced to a to your religion. You should never have stopped being faithful to your God. I am perfectly normal. I go out and get drunk and go to parties. I cut my hair. I don't pray in the morning and I don't pray at night. I'm not interested. So you're not worried about what your family or anyone else thinks of you? Nope. I'm... Now you tell me I'm making a mistake. You're making a mistake. I told you. You fool. <laughs> yes, you did. Well, oh, thank you for your views, gentlemen. It's been great talking to you. Thank you, really. Harper, Harper, it's been lovely listening to your lands of lucrative enlightenment. Thank you. Wherever, wherever you leave followers will be lucky to learn from you so long. Now it's time for Millie's Moment. Oh, Millie's Moment. I love Millie's Moment. Religion is a way in order, in order in community. In it, it is a path of hope for every soul in the planet. As many religions as there are, they all have one thing in common. They are fulfilled our need for spiritual guidance. As much as some people need religion to guide them in the other, 
life. Others choose their own path. They feel that they can cope in life without the words of wisdom from holy figures that others need. But we are all leaders. We all have the right to decide on our own beliefs, but not other people's. Until next time, good night and God bless. Come on, Mr. Joshi, Mr. Joshi, Mr. Joshi.